That was actually pretty crazy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's plenty of boxes, dude. Oh. Yes, it is. If you jump and you land right here on your side. We just got this shipment over here at Scooter Zone, right? It's more than enough boxes. Yes, it is for AJ to jump and land on that box right there and be fine. Brando, if he lands on that box right there. Yeah. That one looks good because the ones underneath it are like, will break. Are you throwing another one? Throw that one more right on top of here and land on this box. No, I'm not scared of that. You're gonna fall. I mean, that's the whole point. We just got a, a, a couple big shipments of one Envy Dirt Scooters, Prodigies and newer ones, some Fusion stuff, some Ethic stuff. We just got a bunch of stuff right over here right now. Oh, not the runaround. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Let's do it! Let's go! Yeah. What's your plan of attack right now, dude? You just going straight right here. Are you guys jumping together, dude? That would be hilarious. All right, do it. Here we go. This is the perfect angle right here. All right. Aim for the trees. <laughs> I'm on the floor, dude. I hit him. Yeah, you were literally on the like. AJ is just on. Here's on the, the floor. I'm there's the AJ. <laughs> that was sick. That was actually pretty crazy. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh god, oh god. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the new Envy ATS dirt scooter. Little backstory for you, not backstory. History lesson. Envy actually made a dirt scooter years and years and years ago, but they made it at a time where I don't think the sport was really super into dirt scoots. I mean, they were kind of, there was like somewhat of a fad and a lot of people have been kind of wanting to jump on these dirt scooters again. One thing that's kind of interesting about these scooters is they don't come with bars. Not all of them do. Some of them you can just buy just the bottom half, which is what you do. You just buy the bottom end, and then later on, you can just put your normal scooter bars on there. All right, um, I want to apologize because there's a big chunk of this video that's going to be missing right now. And it's because of the fact that this microphone that we have on this camera decided to take a big crap. It got really muffly and snowy. I don't know, whatever whatever you want to call that. Essentially what you just now heard in the video, right? Oh, I'm sorry about the noise. It's freezing in here. Basically what I'm saying is this whole next section of the video is going to be gone. I, all I did was talked about the, the height difference between a normal scooter and the dirt scooter. Because the dirt scooter is like, I would say the SCS is probably like 9 inches tall versus a normal scooter SCS is probably in the range of like six, maybe maybe less. I anyways, it's it's a large difference, okay? That's all I was talking about, back to the video. But because I have those bars that I cut far too short for my personal scooter, and I still have them, that means I can run them on this. Granted, they are not black or silver, so it's gonna look kind of weird, but hey, I don't care. It'll still ride sick. That's all we care about. So let's grab those bars, throw them on this scooter, and then just see what this thing looks like. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to ride it today, but at least I can showcase it for you guys. So let's get that started. Oh, I should probably tie the compression first. Damn it. Oh, that's new. Check this out. You guys probably won't care about this, but that is a different bolt in there. But the people that work on these scooters all the time, we noticed stupid little things like that. It's kind of stupid, like I said, but hey. We noticed it. When you guys are tightening your compression, don't forget, just, just get it snug and then pass it just like a, a little tiny bit past snug. You guys don't have to go crazy. Let's try this again. Whoa, don't yell at me. Yo, now I'm kind of thankful that I cut these bars too short because now I don't feel bad about putting them on another scooter that I'm gonna cruise. All right, so got the bronze bars on the scoot, got the T-bar set up. All in all, I'd say this thing is pretty freaking sick right now so of course i went with the white scoot brando has the black one i'll show you guys the black one here in just a minute um the one thing about this scooter that i noticed right away is the weight the weight is unbelievably light for a dirt scooter this thing is crazy 
We have a super lightweight fork. We have a new set of dirt scooter wheels, which have a nylon outer support with, uh, this is actual aluminum inserts in the middle. Same thing in the back. This is a 36 PSI tire. I'm going to be pumping mine up way past that to a, probably an unsafe amount because that's what I've always done. You guys can choose to do that if you want. I would say be super careful when you're pumping any sc dirt scooter tire up. I wouldn't pass m like much past 36 PSI um, just because you do run the risk of something exploding. Also, <laughs> Don't make this mistake. If your tires are pumped up all the way and you need to get the tube on the inside of your wheel out, first of all, deflate your front tire. If you do not deflate your front tire and then you take these bolts off, these bolts are gonna explode into your face. So please, for the love of God, deflate your front tire before you take those bolts out. But this thing is looking pretty freaking sick right now, bro. I, I wanna get in some better light really quick. AJ's got his dirt scooter right there too, but mine's cooler. Yo, the build, puppy, let's go. So width, we are at six inches wide and length, we're at 22 and a half inches long. So, you got a decent deck size. We should actually check to see what the foot room is really quick. Foot room, we're just at about 14 and a half inches long with foot room. So, it's a pretty good size. It's a good enough size for you to actually have a little bit of wiggle room when it comes to riding any kind of trails or jumps or anything like that. You've got a flex style brake, so it's not gonna be making a ton of noise. Although, when you have tires, usually brakes don't work that well, which is why a lot of bikes, you'll see disc brakes and things like that. So, I wouldn't count on this as much as I would your normal brake on your normal scooter, but you have it just in case you need it. As for weight, we're at 11 pounds, 2.8 ounces, which is surprisingly light for a scooter that is this large. You do have aluminum forks and an SDS as well as a normal headset, but 11 pounds, that, that's really freaking light for a dirt scooter. Let's just go to a normal scooter really quick. We'll just take this Prodigy, which doesn't have grips right now, but you'll get the idea. You're at just about seven and a half pounds. So you're giving up about three and a half pounds for a six by 22 with giant wheels, a huge fender, SES, a massive front end. So th this that's pretty wild. We have a wildly light aluminum fork on this thing. And when I say this thing is lightweight, when you hold it, if you guys do end up getting one of these, of course you guys know where to get it, thescooterzone.com. If you do get one and you end up taking it apart for whatever reason, check out how light that fork is. It's crazy. Of course, we got black grip tape with the ATS logo on it. Aluminum bearing spacers, which actually cover the bearing. I didn't notice that until just now. So it's gonna keep your bearing a little bit cleaner when you are riding in the dirt and things like that. Do the front ones do that too? Front ones have those too. That, that's actually a really nice touch. That's sick. So if you guys do take this thing to the trails, which you absolutely should, you should not just be taking this to the skate park if you end up getting one. So those of you guys that live in, let's just say like Washington or Oregon or even some spots in Southern California and you guys have some wild trails this would be a really cool thing for you guys to have and enjoy i think i would prefer a black bar so maybe once i get to the point to where i change the bars on my scooter maybe i'll take the bars i have on it now and throw them on here but that's that's not for many many months to come I'm, I'm super happy with this right now i did tell you guys early on in the video that i would show you guys the black one so i'll show you guys the black one so here is the black dirt scooter uh, and this is the one that comes with the bars so these are the Envy Bull Bars. Um, so you have a little bit of back sweep with these bars. Essentially a little bit more sleek than the white one. You also have an SCS that has actually not been seen before. All of the SCSs that are the silver colorway right now are a chrome and they don't have that black um, Envy etching on the front. But I do like the silver fork on this one. Of course, this is how they keep the scooters as light as they do. They have all these cutouts on the bottom edge of the black as well as the white. And here is what you will be getting if you order just the bottom end. So, fair warning. If you want the bars, you gotta order the scooters with the bars, okay? But that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, as well as a huge shout out to our friends over at Envy for sending Brando and I these scooters. I'm excited to get some air in my tires, pump those puppies up, take it over to the trails and mess around because we just got a brand new dirt park, I guess is what I'm calling it right now, over in Menifee. So I'm gonna take this thing over there and have some fun. But thank you guys again for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, if you guys need to grab any scooter parts, go to thescooterzone.com or come visit us. And I promise we'll have this cleaned up by then.
Thanks for watching, guys. Later.